Hello, my name is Leo Chen. I'm an applications engineer for mixed signal products at Linear Technology. Today, I'm going to discuss a new family of temperature and voltage monitoring chips, and some really neat applications for these products. This circuit, a Delta VBE thermometer from application note 45 by Jim Williams, illustrates the concept of using a remote diode as a temperature sensor. More information can be found on the Linear Technology website by searching for AN45 and going to page 7. This circuit works by alternately sending two different currents through the sensor diode, which produces two different voltage levels, with the difference being proportional to absolute temperature. One drawback of this circuit is that it does not compensate for series resistance as well as its relatively high complexity. The family of parts I am about to introduce performs this function in a single package. They also use a proprietary multi-level excitation scheme that cancels out series resistance errors while still giving you plus or minus 0.5 degree C accuracy using a simple transistor. First up is the LTC2997, or as we like to call it, the chip you've been waiting for. This part measures temperature using a 1 cent 2N3904 transistor and outputs a voltage that is proportional to the measured temperature. The LTC2997 also has an internal temperature sensor as well as a 1.8 volt reference voltage output. Simply put, the 2997 is the most basic component needed to build an effective system monitor. The LTC2995 adds two channels of voltage monitoring as well as temperature threshold alerts. Resistor dividers set the three different monitorable thresholds. The alert pins can be used as interrupt inputs to the user's microcontroller or even an LTC push-button controller in order to provide rapid response to power rail fluctuations. Finally, we have the 4-channel LTC2990 and the 8-channel LTC2991. These devices have a digital I2C interface and can be configured to measure temperature, differential voltages, and single-ended voltages, as well as their own supply voltage. Both of these parts can also turn a 2N3904 transistor into a plus or minus 0.5 degree C accurate temperature sensor and can measure their own die temperature. Now, let's look at a couple of interesting applications. The accuracy of a thermocouple measurement is only as good as the measurement of the cold junction. The LTC2991 is perfect for this role. In fact, many thermocouple sockets are designed to accept a transistor for this very purpose, which can then be read by the LTC2991. This is especially useful when there are large panels with a possible temperature gradient, which would require several cold junction measurements for proper compensation. Another interesting application is a psychrometer, which really isn't quite as ominous as it sounds. It uses two temperature readings to determine relative humidity. What we have here is a traditional sling psychrometer. It contains two mercury thermometers, one of which is covered by a wet saturated cloth. This is the wet bulb temperature, while the other uncovered thermometer gives us the dry bulb temperature. The wet bulb temperature will be lower than the dry bulb temperature due to evaporation, more so once we introduce a constant airflow. In this case, constant airflow is introduced by because evaporation is an endothermic process, the psychrometer is now showing that the wet bulb reports a lower temperature than the dry bulb. By cross-referencing a psychrometric chart, one can then determine the relative humidity based on these values. The wonderful thing is that the LTC2991 allows us to take this, and this, and this, with this. As much fun as this was, this, is much more practical. To implement the psychrometer, the LTC2991 is configured to measure wet bulb and dried bulb temperatures with two transistors, one of which is covered with a saturated cloth. Barometric pressure is also required for the calculation, which is provided by another channel configured in differential mode, which measures the output of a silicon bridge sensor. The psychrometric chart is replaced with this complicated equation. We use wet and dry bulb temperatures to calculate the saturation vapor pressure and the current measured vapor pressure. The ratio of these two values can then give you the relative humidity. The software for the LTC2991 demo board includes a relative humidity calculator implemented as an Easter egg. Placing a dummy file called tester.txt in the program directory enables the feature, allowing you to experiment with this application. 
It is really amazing what we can accomplish using just one of our system monitor solutions. Almost as amazing as... With their precision specifications, versatility, and variety, Linear Technologies system monitor parts can easily find a home in many applications. Linear has a growing family of temperature monitor products. For more information, please visit us at www.linear.com. Thank you for watching.